up, people? It's your beer girl, Melissa. I'm sitting here in my kitchen, and we are excited because it's National Hot Chocolate Day. Uh, we saw something on Instagram, and we thought it would be kind of cool to kind of try it out and do it. And so um, I believe it's oak beverage. However, it might be straight from Yangling Hershey's. Um, and what they do is they take vanilla ice cream and they pour pour the porter over it and then you've got like a beautiful delicious ice cream alcoholic float or sundae but i thought let's switch it up a little bit and let's try it for national hot chocolate day so we're going to try it both ways we're going to try it the way that we saw it on instagram and then in my heated concoction we don't know how it's going to be we know it's going to be beer we know it's going to be ice cream and therefore could you really go wrong so I have my ice cream here. We're gonna just go ahead and give it that pour. And right away you see that reaction. I love that about a float, you know? Reminds you of like a root beer float or in my opinion, orange. Orange soda is the best. So you get a creamsicle float. But now that I'm an adult and a beer girl, I'm like, duh, why didn't we think of this before? So um, it does get that little milky, beautiful color, and uh, we'll get right into it because it's a small sip, and I've been told I need to speed things up. Okay. Yingling always has a very, very distinct taste. So for sure, it's Yingling. Right. Remember we were talking about trying like the, the blind taste test. I think I could pick a yingling out. Uh, don't quote me, but I think I could. So it's got the yingling taste. It does have that chocolatey kind of porter that you look for. It's not super chocolate. It's more beer than anything in my opinion. Um, it's nice. Smooth, drinkable. This makes it a little dessert-like, which I like. Yum. Okay. You guys love this, so it's really exciting to be able to try it. Now this one, I heated for about 25 seconds and it's kind of cooled off a little bit, but we're gonna make it more like a hot chocolate. So same idea here. It does fizz up, oh, a lot more actually. It fizzes up a lot more. So what are you doing for Christmas now that we're waiting for this to happen? Um, did you know this party trick that if you hit the side of your nose and you get some of the oil off of it and then you stick your finger in it, that the foam goes down normally? My party trick's not working. All right. I'm beating a dead horse. Let's go. Let's try it warm. I was right. It is good. It is actually very good. Again, we didn't warm it very much. Um, the recommendation for a porter would be about 55 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. Is that correct? Big boss, man. R roughly. Uh, so again, 15 seconds, 25 seconds, not super warm. It's not hot. But this is really good. I would say I prefer it this way. Now my ice cream did melt a lot more. So now those those flavors have kind of combined. So it's more of like a chocolate and vanilla mix. Um, how are you celebrating National Hot Chocolate Day? Hopefully with some marshmallows and some beer. All right, you guys, don't forget to always like, comment, share, subscribe at beer girl underscore Melissa. Follow your local beer world page on Facebook. And don't forget to drop us a comment. Let us know what you want to see next. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy New Year. Happy Kwanzaa. Diwali happened. Happy Diwali. And we will see you soon. All right. On that note, be your out.